Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is the 19th review of the playlist The Bubblegum Diaries. So, this is what we're going to be looking at, and you're going, What in the name of God is that? This is Bubbaloo. This is Mexican bubblegum. This stuff is awesome. And no, I am not being sarcastic. I really, really think highly of this stuff. So, you're looking at the box going, wow, that looks a little bit sketchy. The cardboard on these is ridiculously thin. Okay, so let's address that first. That gives you an idea right there. It is really, really thin cardboard. This is a display box, technically. Okay, this would be going on a counter of a store, and there is a tab where I am going to rip off the top. Next thing to address, 50 pieces. In the last week or so, they have been coming through as 47 pieces, although where I get it from, they are still claiming 50. I get it through Amazon, and I will be adding this product to the storefront uh, tonight or by tomorrow. So the new boxes do come as 47. Well, why are you using that? I'm using this box because this is the one that wasn't opened. I, it got shuffled to the back of the shelf, and I didn't realize it. So I probably got this a couple weeks ago, but this past week the boxes came in as 47 pieces. So, what you're looking at is their Sabor Fresca, which is strawberry, all right? And it is a display box. That right there is the pull tab. We've gone over the thin cardboard. The thin cardboard would normally bother me, but it's getting overly beat up and the reason for this is because I have to go through Amazon which I'm not overly happy about myself uh, they are mailing these to me in the new less packaging paper mail bags and that's sort of why these look the way they do I'm sure if you were a convenience store in Mexico you'd be getting a product that had a little bit better overview to it that said, the pieces inside are all individually wrapped, and it's good individual wrapping. It's not like the twist ends or anything like that. So having an outer package like this is not as like, ah, not sure about this. It's not like that at all, and you'll see in a second. So I am going to zoom in here and show you the back. Mind you, it's got an Amazon barcode, and everything is in Spanish. I usually don't dwell on the nutritional information of these bubblegum products because, you know, you're not actually ingesting it, number one, and it's always really low. If you are a diabetic, then anything like this may be, I, I would think it would be questionable from the gate, but I am not diabetic, so I do not know, but do note it's sweet. It is liquid filled inside, which makes it even sweeter. So with that all said, I will bring this in to, let's say, 15. And that is what you're looking at. So over here is the Amazon, 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 Amazon barcode. And you can see the ingredients, the Please put it in the proper receptacle when done. And then down here would be the nutritional information. So the expiration date on these, because it does have dates on the back, that is a manufactured lot number. It may not even be the manufacturer of this. The expiration date is usually on the front to the if you're looking at the package left of the B. So let me see if I got it up right. They do deviate. So expires 29, 
whatever month in Spanish is E N E, and the import number, and the only one I'm really worried about is that 23. So it expires at some point in 2023. So with that, let's get it open. So it's a pull tab, as I said, and if the box wasn't so badly compromised with the thin cardboard and the horrible shipping policies of Amazon.com, Jeff Bezos, then it would be a little bit better. And then you got that and it comes completely off. That's what you're looking at inside. And this is the actual packaging. All right. So it's basically got two tear seams, which are the jagged ones at the end, and then a seam running down the back. And then because these are sold individually, it's got a barcode on each one. And now, because you thought I forgot, but I actually didn't, I bring it back down to 11. So, and then I realized that I need it back up to 15 because, <laughs> because that's what I do. So opening it up, you have a disc, basically with a squared side. It's squared off this way rather, but it's obviously round in disc form. The white you are seeing is cornstarch. Now I have repeatedly seen people in other places, not you guys, be like, oh, this stuff looks old. Or they'll say it about, um, what's a big one? Big League Chew. Okay, the white stuff is not like some sort of mold that's growing on old bubble gum. Because really, when you think of the composition of modern bubble gum, I doubt anything could ever grow on it. Um, that is cornstarch. That keeps it in the... In, it, with Big League Chew, it's mostly, or the main reason for applying it as heavily as they do is so the strands don't get stuck into one big clump. With this stuff, it will be so it does not start overly sticking to the packaging. That said, if your Amazon delivery guy decides not to use the shaded part of your porch and leaves it out in direct sunlight on a 95 degree day, it could start sticking to said wrapper. But that is cornstarch. So, it's got a liquid center. I am not going to dissect the piece to show you that. I have tried on my own time to dissect the piece. And it always ends up, I don't want to say messy due to the size being fairly small, but it never quite works out right. Now, Somebody out there is saying to themselves, this stuff reminds me of that product that's disappeared by Bubblicious that had the liquid in the middle. And it's funny you should bring that up because this product is made by the same parent company. Mondell's International, or how you know, I may be mispronouncing that, that makes Bubblicious. And those Bubblicious juice center that you had remembered recently were made actually in Mexico at the same facility that makes this stuff. The Bubblicious product has evidently been taken off the North American market as Bubblicious continues its downward spiral. That said, it is still on the market in Europe, which is good because once I tried this stuff, I wanted to try that. So we will be having a review of that because I just had it shipped in from the Netherlands and it's in my fridge. So I usually do about 
three of these at a time. Otherwise, one piece gets very, very small. Two pieces is sort of enough, but I don't find it good bubble blowing wise. Three is sort of a, a good spot for me. A lot of flavor right off the bat, like a lot. Um, and it's got that, uh, you know, this is probably something being triggered in the back of my mind from stuff when I was a kid. But it's got the sugar grit sort of on the chew, when you chew and there's sort of like a, a, a I don't want to call it crunchy, it's very fine. But it has that. And products really don't have that anymore. Candy products don't really have that. Not ones I'm familiar with anyway. But this does. The strawberry is sort of an overblown candy strawberry. Right? It's very sweet. It does do some light staining on the tongue, but nothing crazy. Which, the first time I tried it, I sort of figured that. Because it's sort of like a liquidish, like almost jelly on the inside. I was like, yeah, this is this is gonna stain. But not as bad as I thought it was. A lot of flavor, and I like the consistency. It doesn't get tough. When it starts running out of flavor, it doesn't completely run out, and it doesn't start getting hard in the mouth. It goes sort of like a real like rubbery but it doesn't toughen up which is awesome i'm going to pause this till i get this to a point where i can blow a bubble and then i will be back really this happens to me like once a year in the last two years it's happened during a video so the problem with blowing bubbles with this stuff is that same gritty sugar aspect. Um, normally when you encounter that with bubble gum anymore, it's with the candy shells of gumballs not breaking all the way down. With the exception of the um, Big League Chew gumballs, which have no shell. They're literally a gumball. And I still have this stuff on my chin. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't get it off my finger now. Alright, we're 13 minutes in. <laughs> we're going to just have to deal with this. Sorry. Um, it, it's an excellent product. Uh, I have had two. It's a little sketchy as to what... The, their actual product line is now. This is another company that seems to have a fluctuating product line. But the strawberry is excellent. I will add to the store. Unless you know somewhere else. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe this stuff's being sold in the Southwest if you live there. I don't know. Um, I have the banana in-house. And I am trying to get a third that I know is in production right now. There's a couple others, but it's not clear if the, the, the stocks are running out and they haven't been re-upped. So I don't know if they're discontinued lines or whatnot. But this has been my review of Bubaloo. 50-piece box now, usually 47 pieces. Strawberry from... Mexico. Excellent, excellent stuff. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, that's not, yeah, okay. God bless.